Hey guys, Zane here with another quick one take review, and today I want to talk about Tim by The Replacements. While many diehard Replacements fans may cite Let It Be as the group's greatest album, I personally testify to the college rock radio favorites' best album actually being this one, Tim. Tim sees the band leave behind any sort of drunken tomfoolery that weighed down albums like Please Come Meet Me in a couple of albums later, but at the same time, there is still a sense of scrappiness and rawness about the band on Tim that belongs in a dive bar just as much as it does in the hallowed halls of rock and alternative music. Meanwhile, the band's rawness in terms of actual instrumentation mixed with their biting, angst-ridden, sometimes mildly self-aware songwriting is perfect in capturing that youthful sense of turmoil that they're going for here. Overall, Tim acts as the band's most consistent album, as well as maybe their album with the best songs on it. I mean, who can listen to a song like Bastards of Young or Kiss Me on the Bus and not think that's some of the greatest alternative music that was able to be offered when this album came out in the mid-80s? It just really is one of those albums that is not necessarily mind-blowing, but really perfects what it does within its relatively short runtime, and it's a legendary album that does deserve its status that it's so often given by many fans as well as many publications like, you know, Rolling Stone and whatnot. And with that being said, Tim, I'm going to give 4.5 stars out of 5. Again, not innovative or mind-blowing per se. If you want innovative alternative rock, go check R.E.M. But for the replacements, they're just a band that knew what they were doing and did it extraordinarily well. So 4.5 stars out of 5. And with that being said, that's the end of this quick review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.